Justin Franson here with Keith Mori. Super good stuff. He does have super good stuff. Keith, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Well, today our topic, of course, EMF. Okay, so that's electromagnetic frequency. Pollution. <laughs> that's what we're going to talk about. This is the invisible pollution that causes a vibration on our body and affects us. So electricity pollution, you know, EMF, you know, radiation, radio frequencies. These are these toxins. They're, to they're basically toxic toxins for our body. And he has some amazing supplements that can really support our immune system. So let's talk about Keith. Yes. Uh, yeah. So share with us, how does EMF affect us? Okay. Well, it really comes down to really basics. EMF is a frequency. And the frequency itself doesn't bother the cell because it's one solid current, one, uh, let's say, current. It's actually a frequency that runs through the cell. And as long as it's just the one current, we have frequencies everywhere and coming from outer space, coming from the sun. And it doesn't bother the cell because it's used to it. Okay? It's when they have a pattern. And see the frequency, let's say, of a cell phone, you have the data wave that comes and it, it carry, it's a carrier wave on the frequency. And this is like a punching bag. It's just punching the cell with data. And it goes into what they call a fight or flight mode. Now in a human, a fight or flight mode um, is where we have to decide if we're gonna fight or flight. So the adrenal cortex basically um, make, allows you to calm down enough because you got all this adrenaline going to decide if you're gonna run or fight, okay? So we just had a little flickering back here. It just shows even with all the <laughs> stuff that I have in my room to impede these um, frequencies to coming out, it still flickered the light back here. So you can see how much is coming out and I dampen it dramatically. I have three dampeners in here. You have, yeah, you have the Stutzer electric you know, meters. Yes, and it works great. It knocks it down from like six or 800 down to 35, 18, right? But still, it's, you're still seeing that flicker and that flicker is coming through you at a carrier wave is, is pounding you with data and it's beating up the cell and the cell in a fight or flight mode, the body in a fight or flight mode shuts down its primary organs to have the energy to run farther and faster and to be more in, uh, you know, powerful. So it, it takes all the energy for the digestive tract, you know, all the circulation, everything is impeded to a certain extent so that it can run, fight, and, and do its job. Well, it's the same thing with the cell. If the cell needs to, has a digestive tract, it has to make ATP and all these other things. And so it converts from digestion to ATP to fight. So it's producing a bunch of ATP, but at the same time, it's, it's overworking itself. It's not feeding itself. And eventually over time, it wears itself out much faster than it would normally do. So really, it's really starving itself to death, fighting these things all the time. And then, it, of course, like anything in the body, if you stop breathing, you have a, a mechanism that wakes you up and starts to do it. So that's what happens. It fights, gets, it's fighting, and then it says, oh, I got to eat, and then it eats, but, or it digests, or however you want to look at it. But in between, it's doing a lot of long-term damage. It's over wearing out the cell. It's not functioning and doing its job the way it should be doing. And so uh, with some people, they can't even function. The average person has learned to adapt to a certain extent, but over time it can wear down an average person to the point that they're gonna have effects from the EMF. And we're getting more and more, more you know, Wi-Fi in our houses, more cellular phones everywhere we walk. And eventually it's, it's going to have an effect long-term on our species as not functioning and degrading the quality of our health. Oh, definitely. And 
You guys, so just to re-clarify, we have backlighting here. It's plugged into his Stetzer Electric and that flickering that you see was the backlighting. That's that dim switch per se. So the his outlets are trying to maintain that same frequency and then it's sending signals back and from to the substation and that causes dirty electricity. So thank goodness he has a Stetzer Gram meters in here and uh, at stetzerelectric.com, one of our sponsors for this summit. And Dave Stetzer has these amazing filters that can rid most of that dirty electricity. But again, that sparking, that's, it, we can see it in the line, we can see it in the light, so it's really tangible. So that's what affects us. And, and for youth, uh, it, it's absolutely detrimental to their health. And, and uh, like you're saying, it's just, it's devastating for us. So you gotta get this stuff down to, to a normal amount so you're healing. And, and especially if you're youth or you're elderly, like it's gonna really affect you. So share with us some of the products that you have. Cause you have, you have a couple over here that I've seen. I mean, he walked in, we walked into Dr. Cohn's office and I was showing off, you know, the products that we have, the EMF solutions that we have for at, at EMFrocks.com. And, and he's like, here, take this. And his muscle tested super strong. And I needed like two of mine to, to get what his did in just one, <laughs> one bit. So let's see. Let's talk about that. So as I understand it, in the cell, one of the things that it kind of opens itself up to is calcium. Now, everybody thinks calcium, they put calcium in everything. Calcium is the scourge of the body. In excess, it needs a little bit for the mitochondria. It needs a little bit for the bones. But other than that, it doesn't like a lot of calcium. And the calcium ends up damaging the body. It uses calcium as a buffer. So let's say you're acidic and it's gone and you have to stay in a, seven, uh, a range of 7.38 to 7.42 in the blood, this pH. Well, if you start to go acidic, one degree either alkaline or um, uh, basic, uh, alkaline and acidic, um, is you're dead in an hour. So one degree either direction, one mark difference. If you stay that way for a full hour, you would be dead, most likely. Okay, so calcium is what buffers it. Calcium is, when it starts to go acidic, it leaches calcium out of the bone to make calcium bicarbonate, which is like sodium bicarbonate that you put on your batteries to neutralize the acid in your car. And it buffers the acid so it neutralizes, it bubbles to neutralize it. Same in the blood. The calcium bicarbonate buffers it so you stay alkaline, okay? But the problem is it's a weak molecule and it falls apart in your muscles and synovial fluid forming free floating calcium. And this free floating calcium is a scourge. It's a missing electron, steals it from healthy cells. Initially one electron here and there is not gonna hurt. But if it's consistent, just like EMFs, it's going to steal enough that eventually you're gonna to get to the DNA and make you age faster and degrade the cell and then you prematurely age. Calcium gets in between muscle tissue. After it fell apart, it gets in between muscle tissue and it's like mortar making you rigid as you get older. It, it's what bonds amyloid plaque in your brain to the wall. My contention is it's also causing the initial, you know, if you look at amyloid plaque, you, you see the amyloid plaque in the uh, MRI, but later on, let's say, you know, months later, you see these little black things going around the amyloid plaque. And these are blockages in the capillaries and, and veins. And you say, oh, well, look, you know, amyloid plaque just caused some problems. Actually, it's the calcium that restricted the Coming, coming into the cell into the cell or the brain, and then it can't get the amyloid out. So and then and you only can bond with the calcium against the wall. So it not only 
causes the damage and the trapping of the amyloid plaque, but then it sticks it against the wall. So you have Alzheimer's and dementia and other things of that nature. So really calcium gets into everything, it gets into the prostate. That's why we, we have a hardening, a swelling of the prostate with men is that the, in between the tissue of the prostate, you're putting calcium, which solidifies the damn thing so it doesn't move. And then you have restriction of urinary flow. You have all these other problems. And the other accumulating factors is in the breast. It, it, it's a lymph system, but the women strap down their breast to a point that it doesn't move and it can't take the trapped waste material out of the breast into the lymph system. And so you trap waste material, but one of the biggest trapper of waste material is calcium. Wow. And it's damaging and stealing electrons and eventually damages and they get breast cancer. So anything to remove calcium is unbelievably great. And, and my contention is there's natural products in here that are well documented um, in our uh, literature and everything. K2 and other products, uh, benfotamine uh, to open up capillaries, all these things that can remove this excess calcium by clinical studies showing this that will help you regulate that and allow you to be more flexible most likely in, in a lot of people it has it, it personally I feel like 35% more flexible since I've taken this uh, I had a guy over the weekend uh, call me up who was uh, EMF you know like he's in the one half of one percent he has to when he drives somewhere he has to look where power lines are and he, he, he drives like this to get to a place wow. and somehow he went down, um, not a wrong road, but like it was a detour, and he had to go through power lines. And he said he would be down for like six months to a year because he did that, and it was like 20 minutes. Wow. And he said, this is just anecdotal, he said, I was down a day and a half, and that was it. He says, I'm telling everything, because everybody knows how sensitive I am, and I can't believe it, and he was just like, oh, I'm getting goosebumps. He's, he was so thrilled about it. So anyway, bottom line is you need to get rid of excess calcium to help the body deal with because somehow when it opens up, you know, you go in this fight or flight, it opens the EMF, open up the, uh, the cells to uptaking calcium where it doesn't need it. And this causes big, big trouble. So... That's all I have to say about this. Well, the cardio clear, you guys, that's incredible. So not only does that clear, so let's go backtrack a second and just review what he said, because this is absolutely massive. But the cardio clear helps with obviously your pH. I mean, your pH balance, like we can test pH on EMF. You can get pH paper, talk on your cell phone for two minutes, your pH will change instantly. You start taking cardio clear, you're gonna buffer it back up again. I mean, this is this is tangible stuff that you can quantify. And for for memory challenges, for Alzheimer's, dementia, even behavioral challenge that the brain's freaking out on this stuff, this is these are the products that you guys are gonna wanna have. I mean, Alzheimer's and dementia, they're textbook, just textbook for for uh, having for EMF sensitivity and challenges and, and and being exposed to it those are direct correlations obviously cardiovascular health is one of the primary ones and we've seen that pie graph go up when electricity was allowed into our lives and our homes uh, cardio you know challenges cardiovascular challenges went skyrocket so when you take a cardio clear that helps flush your kidneys and helps your heart and clear it, clean out all the calcium out of your system. Not only your brain functions, your pH functions, and then your heart will function a lot better and more efficiently. Exactly. And, and you mentioned kidneys. Actually, kidneys is what separates the calcium from the bicarbonate. If there's any left over, it haven't fallen out somewhere. And it, it, it accumulates calcium in the kidneys and too much it can't function properly and you start to have kidney problems. Okay, 
I, I promised I wouldn't divert too much, but what is the other uh, product uh, that goes for, whoa, 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 real quick, not just for the liver, but what goes with, with the uh, Alzheimer's? It's this one and one other. Oh, uh, no, actually, it was just this. No, you, well, we just were talking, you said one other one for my client. <laughs> ah, funny on the spot. No, no. You uh, say cardio clear and one other. Oh, would be total great. recall. Yeah, total recall. Well, that's just <laughs> total the, the, recall. Well, the thing is, <laughs> I, I couldn't, you know, relate it because of the calcium's the main yeah, yeah. problem. Okay. It's just total recall actually, you know, has things in it that dilate and uptake glucose and oxygen better to the cell. So in in that situation, that's what I would recommend. Yeah. So clients that have memory challenges, Alzheimer's, dementia, early signs of it, total recall, super good stuff with CardioClear is the formula for that. It's the solution. So, okay. So not to divert too much because I promised I wouldn't, but I did. Sorry. <laughs> so uh, he has so many incredible products. So, uh, but I promised I would stay focused. So the next one, let's talk about your liver. Okay. So we have two forms. This is the liquid form and this is, um, this is a basically a mineral, like, actually I'll tell you, originally it was the, uh, down in Mexico, they had a special kind of um, glaze they put on pottery, mm -hmm. right? And you have to glaze it. Mm -hmm. and, and this was the basically the glaze. And we just removed the excess iron because it had a little bit too much iron in it. But they were having so many great results with people taking this clay. And uh, we looked into it, and it's the best thing I've ever seen for the liver. Um, it's, it's crazy good. I can't say, make any claims. All I can tell you is um, it does things that, I'll just say it deals with um, um, addictions. It does definitely support the body for addictions, and uh, it's... I, I'm trying to, I'm worried about the FDA realizing what this does. Uh, this, it's, so, it's so good for what it does. So if anybody buys it and they're not happy with the results with any of addictions or anything of that nature, you call me, I'll give you your money back. But this product could revolutionize the uh, addiction arena, wow. in my opinion. Um, and it's liver recharge, liver recharge. Great product. And so, then how does that help with the EMFs? Uh, actually, we did muscle testing. And uh, I was with uh, Dietrich Klinghardt and Marcola and Anju and Lee Cowden. And uh, they all muscle test. Now, if you believe in muscle testing, me, muscle testing is basically uh, talking to your subconscious. And it reacts and says it's good for you, bad for you. It's a computer system. That's all it knows is yes and no. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, zero and one. And if it's good for you, you it actually responds and says, yeah, it's good right. for me. Oh, no, it's not good for me. So, you know, it's anecdotal. You know, you, you can't guarantee because a lot of people muscle test and they'll, um, they'll not be good at it or they're deceiving you. There's only a few really good ones out there. Howard is unbelievably good, really? right? Yeah. He is fabulous. That's Dr. Cohn, my yep, partner. And, yep, and um, Charlie is yeah. unbelievable. Um, his, uh, you know, anyway, there's only a few. Uh, I When I first got into business, I didn't, you know, believe in it. I said, you know, this is crazy. But over 24 years of seeing this consistency of it, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. So anyway, they muscle tested and said it's the only product they've ever seen that would help with it. Wow. That's fantastic. Well, you know, obviously your liver flushes a lot too. So you'd want to clear that as well. But so we have liver recharge by super good stuff, cardio clear by super good stuff, total recall for memory challenges and uh, just help your overall body. And, and this is, this is a massive, massive topic. I mean, you covered aging quicker. You covered just the vibration that, that affects us. I mean, it, cardiovascularly. I mean, these are some massive topics, you guys, that we're talking about. 
that a formulator understands the, the deep uh, underlying challenges? Well, basically, I did a scan on myself uh, where it's, they, you know, they tell you how much calcium you have in your cardiovascular system. Mm -hmm. And so they, it's like a MRI or something like that. It used to call it a fast scan, but that was, had a lot of radiation. The new one has like one or two like x-rays. And within 21 days of actually the days I took it, it was like 45 day gap between me taking the test. I knocked my um, calcium score by 16%, which is huge in 21 days of taking it. So that I can document and we're going to do, I'm going to go be tested. I've been doing it for about a year and a half now. I'm going to go down and see what it is this week. So maybe stay tuned and we'll talk about that. Awesome. Awesome. Guys, we just went beyond with Keith Morey, the formulator, founder of Super Good Stuff. He has a physician line as well, but the supergoodstuff.com is where you're going to find all of his incredible products. Make sure you pick up some of the cardio clear, his liver recharge, and it's going to change your life, you guys, and, and help us buffer the daunting, you know, massive, overwhelming frequencies that, that keep seeing to pop up on light poles <laughs> everywhere. Oh, yeah. So it's terrible. Uh, it is. So, but now at least we can have some, some solutions supplement wise internally, you know, other than like a carbon 60, right? I, you know, carbon 60, you know, it's expensive. Yeah. Um, and I, and I think it's a buffering aspect. It's, it's like insulation and it impedes the frequency from uh, damaging cells, but they're talking about uh, helping with cancer big time. Yeah. I have a friend in Algeria that's uh, tweaking the carbon 60 and having great results. Wow. So yeah, carbon 60, you know, I don't even have any personally, mm -hmm. um, but I plan to buy it, but it's really expensive. Yeah, it is. They're like, it's the, the formula that I'm looking at is about 80 or 90 for a bottle. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it seems to be working and carbon's the basic molecule, you know, that's what we are, it's carbon mm -hmm. uh, entities. So it seems, and if you ever look, it looks like a skydiscope, uh, God, I can't even say it. Collect. Collect. Kaleidoscope? Uh, kaleidoscope. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and, and basically, it, the molecule itself is tremendous. I don't even have it. I don't even have it to sell. But I'm planning to get some, but I got to get the right price. It's really, really expensive. <laughs> so. there, there you go. Well, thank you. Keith, your wisdom is beyond. And you guys, jump on supergoodstuff.com and we'll see you soon.